Welcome to the series where you're going to learn about ChatGPT prompt engineering. And inside of this series, you're going to learn how to write effective and useful prompts. And this is our part 3 video of this series. So if this is your first time watching this series, here's a quick little introduction of what this series is about. So inside of this series, you're going to learn how to write proper prompts that will give you more accurate results from ChatGPT. And throughout this series, here are just some different topics that we're going to be covering. And some of the following are, the first one is how to guide ChatGPT think. The second one is the iterative prompt development. The third one is inferring and summarizing text. The fourth one is transforming text. The fifth one is expanding text. And finally, for the sixth one, you're going to learn how you can create your own chatbot. But for today's part 3 video, inside of the section called Guide ChatGPT to Think, you're going to learn two principles of prompt engineering and how you can apply them using ChatGPT. And since there are many ideas inside of these two principles, we're going to be breaking this section down into multiple parts. So the first principle is to write clear and specific instructions. So in our last video, which was our part 2 video, we learned how we can use longer prompts. And longer prompts is more information, you get more, better results. But inside of today's video, we're going to learn how to use delimiters. And delimiters help to specify important places. So just before we get into ChatGPT and actually try this out, let's first talk a little bit more about what delimiters are. So basically what delimiters are is that delimiters help ChatGPT to understand where important places are inside of your text. So if you look at the bottom left of your screen, you can see that there are many different delimiters that you can actually use. For example, you can use triple quotes, which just look like the triple quotes. You can use triple backticks, dashes, and so on. And this just helps ChatGPT to know where the important places are. So now let's go over to ChatGPT and actually try out these delimiters for themselves. So now we're inside of ChatGPT and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to ask ChatGPT to summarize a piece of text and inside of that piece of text we're going to be using delimiters to mark the important places and then once ChatGPT sees the important places we're going to ask it to give more information on the important sentences. So let's just try this out and see how it happens. So for our message, I just wrote summarize the following piece of text and explain more in your summary for the sentences that are delimited by the triple quotation marks. And they just look like the triple quotation marks. So in this piece of text, it's talking about social media and how it has changed over time from the early years all the way to TikTok now. So basically inside of this piece of text, what I did was I went through them and whichever sentences that I thought was important, I added the triple quotation marks. And that's why over here, I asked ChatGPT to explain more in your summary for the sentences delimited by the triple quotation marks. And just like I did here, there are many different things that you can use delimiters for. And this is just one of the examples I'm going to be showing today. So let's just enter this and see how ChatGPT responds. So here you can see that ChatGPT is done summarizing the text. And you can immediately see that it's given more information on the text, which was delimited by the triple quotation marks in this case. So for example, if you look at the Twitter sentence, it says Twitter introduced us with microblogging, allowing real time updates in 280 characters or less. Inside of the summary, ChatGPT wrote, Twitter brought the concept of microblogging into the mainstream, allowing users to share real time updates in concise 280 character posts. So you can see that ChatGPT gave a little bit more information. We could have even asked for a longer summary here. So that's why this one is not as much detailed and also the text is a little short. But this just shows that you can use delimiters to specify key important information inside of your text. And that summarizes everything you need to know for how to use delimiters. And inside of our next video, you're going to learn how to ask for structured outputs from ChatGPT.